It's the show with all the celebrity news before the celebrities know it. It's Wagon's Den. And here she is, gobbier than Kerry Katona with a tongue extension. It's your Wagon in Chief, Sheila Sheik. knickers in your lingerie collection, Caprice. I do not have cr crotchless knickers now. No. Do you not like to? I, I think that's more of Anne Summers' thing. I always wear the crotchless ones, Caprice. I think it's very important to let your vagina breathe, don't you? Take them. I don't have one, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I wore a pair of full crotch knickers, me funny duples nearly suffocated. I did. <laughs> Gasp, and it was. It was. It looked like a horse trying to eat a sugar lump through a neck cord. <laughs> Seriously, no caprice. How are you doing, you big spunk monkey? <laughs> I'm all right. Are you all right? I just wanted to ask, can I have a go on your cans? Oh! Can you please the cans? Can I have a go on them? Can go on then. Yeah, I can, just, of can I put my head in them? Yeah, yeah. go on then. Go on then. <laughs> Love scenes you did recently. What? Well, I was in. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the street and I played the first gay character and it was me and Vincent Regan in the street and what I was that like? Did you like it? It was a bit weird. Why? Because I had to have a knob out with another man looking at it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Of Caprice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Dr. Pixie McKenna, congratulations on your show. Embarrassing buddy. Come on. Come on. We all watch it. We Don't all watch it. We all watch it. Absolutely. Yeah, the most watched programme on Channel 4 after the big fat gypsy wedding. Well, tell us, where do you find the freaky fannies you do having the show? <laughs> <laughs> The lady garden comes in all shapes and sizes, and we need to embrace the fact that we are all different. Actually, Brian has a little question he was too embarrassed to ask. Yeah, he's asked me to ask instead, haven't you, Brian? Thank you, Sheila. Dear Pixie, why do some men have bendy mickeys? <laughs> <laughs> Love, Brian. Pixie, why? I'm sure you're asking that on behalf of a friend. Yes, it's not me. It's my very close it's friend, it. who's called. Ryan. <laughs> it's fine to have a bendy Mickey. If it bends an awful lot, like at a right angle, then maybe you should get it fixed. But otherwise, what if it bends like How a tap? Fix it? What if it goes down like that? <laughs> then you're a plumber. <laughs> Thinking after all them women you've shagged, you must be bleeding riddled. <laughs> I've crabs a couple of times. Did you? Do you know what the best way to get rid of them is? No, so you shave one side, set the other side on fire, <laughs> and when they run to the bald side, you stab them with a fork. <laughs> every time. She swear you swear by it, don't you? Swear, swear by it. <laughs> you can have that for the show. <laughs> can you? <laughs> 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 There's no other way to do that, is there? Is there? Is there a lotion? There's a lotion. Oh, Jesus. There's a lotion, Sheila. Oh, me ma's good forks. <laughs> <laughs> and you started your career as a nun, which in lesbian terms is like a big game hunter getting a job in the zoo. <laughs> as a gay woman, what force attracted you to a life locked up in a giant house full of sex-starved women? <laughs> 
age were you when you joined, love? I was 18 when I joined, when I got the calling. So I was very young. Really? Yeah. And you stayed in until what age? 21. And she had her 24th birthday party in the convent, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Bet you'd really love to see that again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wow, there you are in the company nightclub with all the crazy gang. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at the balloons behind. Are they meant to be ironical? They're like a willy. There you are off your bounce on TK Red Lemonade in the middle of a rose and carrots of come by army, love. Look, it's like a wizard's convention. And oh, oh, that balloon. That balloon act is all wrong. Showbiz, Preggers Victoria Beckham has donated boxes full of her old clothes to the starving people of Africa. Oh. Yeah, and if they lose a bit more weight, they might be able to fit into the big <laughs> <laughs> OK, due to the huge success of Come Dine With Me, everyone's throwing dinner parties. Anna, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten at a dinner party? Or the, the worst... OK, that's got... She's got it. She's got it. No, <laughs> Sheila, be nice. Anna. Let Anna answer. What is the worst thing you've ever eaten? <laughs> Food wise, Anna. Food wise. <laughs> Ignore her, Anna. Uh, <laughs> the worst thing. You met your now ex girlfriend on Corrie, Nikki Sanderson. Yep. How long were you together? Uh, we were together um, four years. Oh, that's nice. Four isn't years, it? Yeah, yeah. You described your split with lovely Nikki as like losing me right leg. Is that right? <laughs> uh, yeah, we were very, very close, yeah, 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 so at the time it was hard. Lucky for you, then, that you met Heather Mills on Dancing on Ice. Did she give you any advice on how to get through the loss? <laughs> what? Are you enjoying yourself, love? I think it's a shock. I'll answer that. So, Danny, do you think you'll ever go back to Curry? If I was going to do a soap now, I'd like to probably do Enders, EastEnders. Geezer, oh. bruv. Hear me now, you get me? <laughs> bruv. So, uh, but I mean, you know, I'd like to. All uh... right, come into the pub and ask me what you want to do. <laughs> Get out of my pub! <laughs> what you want, darling? But yeah, so I'm, I'm really in. <laughs> you ain't my mother! Ricky! <laughs> yes, I am! Josie's newly single here and she's a bit of a goer. Would you fancy her? <laughs> she, she's gorgeous. Isn't she? she Josie. Is. Emma, if you've got a big wanger. <laughs> <laughs> He's Irish, of course he does! Irish! If you get with me, I'll show you a cliffhanger. <laughs> oh, did you tell girl that was a rap? Go on. Oi, Emma, if you've got a big wanger, if you get with me, I'll show you a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at you in action, love. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you honestly can't remember how this happened? You know, right now, all I can think about is this excruciating pain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Look at the hair over there. It's the hair on you. Yeah. That's Aiden Turner you're with, isn't it? Aiden Turner and being human, yeah. God, he's real talented, isn't he? He's very talented. And Do very you ever young. wish you were him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to have me Fanny Duples pierced at one stage. <laughs> I swear to God, at one stage I had more rings in it than a bleeding shower cork. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Brenda, would you ever consider getting a ring in your nipple? Or would you be afraid you might step on it in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Freaky product of the week is this. Abstinence underwear, Sheila. I know. Yeah, Justin Bieber approved range of undies for tweenies have sayings on them like zip it, not tonight, and dream on. Parents, listen to Sheila. If the fella is close enough to read the panties, it's much too late for the slogan. <laughs> <laughs> and talking of fashion faux pas, what did you make of Beatrice's headgear, oh. Sheila? Was it a yay or a nay? <laughs> With those teeth, definitely a nay! <laughs> Like that, the only thing she should have been wearing is a bleeding saddle. <laughs> <laughs> if you 
ever want to know what you get if you cross the horse with a bleeding lobster? There's your answer. <laughs> MTV are famous for hiring witty, cool, interesting people to host their shows. Are you surprised they hired you? I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Well, you're Absolutely shocked. shocked. One of the biggest programmes on MTV right now is 16 and Pregnant. Does it worry you that girls are leaving us so late to have kids these days? <laughs> <laughs> worrying, worrying. Your hair's like Cameron and Diaz, as it is. <laughs> Isn't that? It's like in something about Mary. Guys, Kate, we see. Do you use the same stuff? Does no. she use the same Kate. Uh, we saw so. this movie when we were like, really, really young, and we had no clue. So when you watch movies, and like all this kind of your parents are laughing. Yeah. Like, what are you laughing at? And, now you and then know. you realise, and then you're like, whoa, it's really bad. It's really bad. Uh, <laughs> that's really sick. I heard the new Jedward doll is out. Let's have a quick look at the prototype. Where is it? My name. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite cool. Uh, That's quite cool. Some guy over there said that our hair looks like candles. Candles? They don't look like candles. And it's like it's fire going on. It's fire. I think it's gorgeous. It looks like candy floss. Jenny, I could see your halo. Do you want to eat it? Do I? Is it? All right, go, go on, on. Have a bite. <laughs> Is it nice? It tastes good. It does taste hey, salty. Come on, come on. <laughs> quickest way you've ever lost weight, apart from getting your knob cut off. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rebecca, I hope you don't mind me asking this, but what did you do with your Mickey after the operation? Oh, <laughs> Can you bring it home with you like your tonsils? It's on the mantelpiece. <laughs> Is it on the mantelpiece? It's on the mantelpiece. Oh. You'd love to believe that, wouldn't you? <laughs> What? You should be breaking into my house afterwards yeah, together. Yeah, I'm looking for a draft excluder. <laughs> Being a Saturday girl, you're also a rugger bugger hugger. You're dating British rugby player Ben Foden, yeah. aren't you? Oh, let's see us together. Nice oh. 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 Now let's see us apart. Oh. 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 You jammy bitch in a Healy. <laughs> Wobbling <No>. right. <laughs> <laughs> In that picture, he had a very full bush. Did you notice that? Yeah, I know. His mum actually saw that. And <laughs> she said, yeah, because she saw because it, it, it was actually in the post office in his local home place. He's nice. from a little tiny village. So and what she did said, his mum say? Why didn't you trim the pubes like, before going for the, that pull? I, if I had known, because I put a bit of fake tan on him the night before like, so he had a bit of a glow. Yeah. But if I'd known that he was going to be pulling it down that far, I definitely would have given him a trim. But now he's trimmed. He's always trimmed now. So, just since yeah. Yeah. He did look like he needed a shot of a fly, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously fancies me, dude. Don't you chicken? I don't. <laughs> I'm getting married in seven weeks. You don't? Yeah. I take it back, Brian. He's definitely gay. I mean, I'm so hot. Even Una fancies me. Look at her there. She's wetter oh. than a Japanese attic. <laughs> Thank you.